Joy in Duckville, at least for the home team, is the visitors from Oral Roberts to the celebrate here on the turf at PK Park. For the second time in nine years since the program returned for the Mothballs after a near three decade hiatus here in Eugene. Two outs from college baseball Mecca just the night before the end of Duck season comes to a crashing halt. Well, it doesn't feel very good, and um, it just tells us there's more work to be done. Oregon's historic eight-run rally to win game one against Oral Roberts, the first team to ever come back from such a deficit in the Super Regionals, turned out to be the last time the Pac-12 tournament champs would celebrate on their home turf in 2023. To be able to rally together and, and to play for one another and, and uh, to really adapt that team baseball is, is um, you know, no better way to leave this place than with a team like this. This team went 41 and 22, winning nine in a row or faltering in back to back games against the Golden Eagles. This is a group unlike any other. This is a group that, you know, like we talk about so much, has, has dealt with adversity in ways, you know, uh, that no one else in the country has faced. Mark Wazikowski had the Ducks on the verge of something no one around here had seen since 1954. This group brought interest to Oregon baseball that's never had this level of interest. Not bad for George Horton's former assistant in season four and skipper at the Green and Yellow. No, we didn't get to Omaha this year. Um, you know, it wasn't in the cards. It wasn't, it wasn't what uh, I guess was supposed to happen with this group. And I did tell Pat Kilkenny, I think in this room, that, um, you know, if I get the chance to be the head coach at this great institution, we'll get to Omaha or I'll die trying. Flanked by his eight seniors and draft eligible players in his postgame press conference, Coach Waz overly emotional to be so close yet so far with this group in its final game of college baseball. You saw how much they care about this university. I hope each and every athlete that attends this school can understand how special this place is. Oregon's trail back to that College World Series in Omaha now reaches 70 years. Last there in 1954, of course, the program was eliminated back in 1981, came back first year of play again in 2009. There's always next year. Great run for these Ducks here to make it this far in the Super Regionals. In Eugene, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.